All right, guys, these five shoulder exercises made up my complete 18 set shoulder workout that I did last week with Charles Glass. Now, Charles trained several Mr. Olympia winners, and this is exactly how they train their shoulders. If you wanna grow your shoulders, if you're stuck at a plateau right now, this is the exact type of workout that you need to do. It's maximum intensity, maximum activation, and it's gonna put a ton of overload on all three heads of your shoulders. You can grow those big, 3D deltoids fast. If you've been training for a few years and you wanna to continue to see fast gains, you must crank up the intensity and continue to do new things that your body's not accustomed to. And that is exactly why I hired Charles last month to take my workouts to the next level. And I'll be sharing all of my workouts with Charles, with you guys. And I've actually already filmed three workouts that I haven't uploaded yet to YouTube. And I want you guys to vote down below and let me know which one you wanna see next. Do you wanna see an arm workout, a legs workout, or a back workout? Comment down below which workout you wanna see next, and I'll be selecting one person to win a seven serving sample tub of superhuman pre-workout. Well, let's get the shoulder workout started. You ain't got no games. You ain't lift no weights. Exercise number one is going to be a dumbbell lat raise done in a little bit of an unconventional way. Now, you're gonna be doing one arm at a time on this exercise, and you really wanna focus on pushing away from you as far as you can go and pointing your thumb down to the floor so there's gonna be a tiny bit of internal rotation and the top of every single rep, really focus on pointing that thumb down to the floor. This is going to increase the activation right in the lateral deltoid head. And very important, you don't wanna rest at the bottom of the movement. So don't go back to a, the starting position and just completely rest that lateral deltoid. Focus on keeping that dumbbell in motion and then pointing your thumb down to the floor with every single rep. So I want you guys to go 12 to 15 reps on both sides three total sets resting only 45 seconds between sets. The goal is to really pre-activate and get a massive lateral deltoid pump here. Exercise number two is a move that I had never done before and it actually mimics a standing shoulder raise. It is the lying front raise. So we did four total sets of this. Now your hands are going to be shoulder width apart. Your elbows are gonna be out wide. You're gonna be lying on a seated row machine. You want to keep your elbows up as you pull and you wanna also keep your chest up. You're gonna stop the range of motion as you approach your mid chest. And it's very important that you keep your chest up and your elbows up throughout this movement. You wanna pull with your shoulders. This is once again gonna be incredible activation right on your lateral deltoids as well as your rear deltoids. Now I was having a bit of trouble keeping my chest up and my elbows up so I actually placed a foam roller underneath my upper back for the last two sets and the activation was insane. So if you're having trouble, I recommend you guys do the same. You wanna go four total sets here, 12 reps, resting 60 seconds between sets. The next one is a parallel grip iso shoulder press and this is gonna put incredible activation right on the anterior deltoid. Now, you want to keep your elbow in as you push up, and you also wanna push up close to your body. So if you're on the right side, you wanna actually cross your left hand and place it on your right quad. You're gonna have a slight lean in. And if you don't have the shoulder press machine, you can of course do this with dumbbells mimicking the same motion. So you'd hold the dumbbell with a parallel grip, palms facing the opposite direction of your body, keeping it close to your body, and you're pressing straight up with a slight lean towards that side. So. You really wanna make sure that you're not locking all the way up and you're resting at the top or the bottom of the rep. So keeping that anterior deltoid um, fully activated throughout the movement is going to be really important. So on this one, we did three total sets, 10 reps on each side. And once again, we're keeping our rest times relatively short. It's 60 seconds between sets. Fourth shoulder exercise is doing the rear delt machine. Now, one of the functions of the shoulder is of course abduction, moving the arm away from your body. So very important as you're abducting, you want to keep your elbows up as you push out and you wanna make sure you are initiating the movement with your rear deltoids. Now this machine you are abducting and using the back of your triceps to basically abduct out. Or if you're using a traditional rear delt fly machine, you can keep your palms open 
forcing your rear delts to initiate that movement. So if you're grasping this machine with your hands, make sure you're not yanking and jerking the machine with your hands. Really focus on initiating that movement with your rear deltoid and you're gonna feel a lot more activation. So on this one, I want you guys to go three total sets in the 12 to 15 rep range, resting only 45 seconds between sets. So the fifth shoulder exercise is we did a machine shoulder press and the shoulders were really fatigued at this point. And this is actually the exercise where we focus on going the heaviest. Now, this is a hypertrophy technique where basically, instead of starting your workout with the exercise that's the hardest and the exercise you can lift the most weight on, you move it to the very end of the workout when your shoulders are fatigued. And it's a great way to shock your shoulders and to grow, to really shock any muscle group in the growth. So on this one, our palms are facing out, shoulder width apart, and we're increasing the weight each set. So we did 15 reps on the very first set, then we did 10 reps, eight reps, and six reps. So we increased the weight for the second, third, and fourth set. And on this one, you really wanna challenge yourself. It's the end of the workout. You wanna go all out and lift as heavy of weight as you can for eight reps and for six reps on the last two sets. So I call those last two sets our growth sets because we're really focusing on going heavy when we're at the point of maximum fatigue. So you wanna go slow eccentrics, going two seconds on the way down, exploding up, not pausing at the bottom, and that is the complete shoulder workout. Thanks for watching today's video. And if you like today's video, I know you're going to love the Superhuman Training programs, which just went live on the new website last week. These programs are made to get you basically a year's worth of results in just 12 weeks utilizing the balloon method, which is going to maximize the three scientific ways that your body builds muscle mass in every single workout. So the Masthetics program is for bulking, the Master Shredder program is for cutting, and the Action Figure program is for building muscle and burning fat, AKA a recomp. So I'm gonna link to all those programs down in the description below. And if you enjoyed this Charles Glass workout and you wanna keep on watching workout videos with him, I'm gonna link right over here a playlist that I made of all of my workouts with Charles Glass. If you miss any of these workouts whatsoever, must watch these next. So I'm gonna link those right over here and I will see you guys on the next video. You ain't got no games. You ain't got no weights.